This is the grade four math practice test for T and ready. This is question number 10. So at least it is on this version of the test. Question number 10, using this grid, draw a right angle. Now we need to know what a right angle is and a right angle has a very specific definition. It's an angle that is 90 degrees. And the reason, most likely, even though we can't know for 100% for sure, why it's called a right angle, it has to do with not versus left, it has to do with upright. If you build something that isn't completely uh, straight up from the ground or perpendicular to the ground, would be the mathematical um, definition that you might use there, it will start to fall over. If I draw, if I have a house that is sort of set like this, I don't know why I felt like I needed to put a window in there and why they look so bad, but here we are. But if you build this house, it will eventually fall to the ground. It is not going to last. So instead, you need to make it upright. The nice thing about this question is it gives you a lot of options because it doesn't care in what direction you make the right angle. All you have to do is pick a point, go straight up from it. This is an angle you want to put that edge on there, and then like this and any right angle is acceptable it would go the other way you could move it over here you can make a little a little baby right angle right there even though these would go on forever because that's how that works of course you don't want to do it like I did like up you want to keep it right on the line so that it's straight up from the bottom set. So remember, when you're drawing a right angle, think about upright. Think about the fact that you don't want to have a house that's about to fall over because that'd be a huge problem. And um, just pick any right angle and draw it into that grid and you are good to go.